guys, so I think I am in need of a glow up. I have not put any effort into my appearance for the last two weeks, if not the last year. And I think it's time. I'm also sweating profusely under my boobs right now. <laughs> but I think I'll just ignore that. So I've basically got a list of things I want to do to glow up because I just need a change. First on my list is of course exfoliate and hair removal. Then we will be doing a face mask, painting our toenails because I actually got my nails done just recently. They've definitely grown out, but I think they're passable. So I'm just gonna leave it for a bit longer because I cannot do nails whatsoever. My hair is just like in need of some TLC at the moment. So we're gonna do a hair mask because my hair is greasy right now. Get all pretty, do some glam, like the whole shebang. Probably take some pictures afterwards. I'm gonna like moisturize my entire body. I'm just ready to feel like a princess. So step one of glowing up, drink water. <laughs> So let's get into the bathroom and start with a shower because boy, do I need a shower. Emma Chamberlain, eat your heart out. So now I'm in my bathroom, I'm about to hop in the shower and I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna do in the shower without actually showing you me in the shower um, for your sake. First of all, I just wanna show you this. I probably shouldn't be proud, but I am. It looks like I purposely have been doing this. And I have not. This is just simple neglect. But what I'm gonna use in the shower is I'm gonna use just an exfoliator. I'm just gonna use the Frank Body Coffee Scrub. I got this from my boyfriend's sister. Also, you guys were asking if I'm still with my boyfriend because of the Fashion Nova video and mum joking about Tinder dates. Those were hypothetical situations. <laughs> I am still with my boyfriend, don't worry. Um, I'm also gonna use Gillette men's razors because I've heard that men's razors are better, apparently. I mean, they're the same price, so I thought I'd just try them out. I've been using coconut oil to shave recently because I feel like it's a bit smoother. Um, and then I am going to put my hair mask in, which I am almost out of, which I'm really sad about, but it's the Function of Beauty one. I'm also going to use my favorite shampoo and conditioner, which is by Function of Beauty. You guys heard me talk about this last time. Also, can we just talk about the little stickers that they give you? So they give you a little sticker sheet. I spent a good 15 minutes sticking all these little stickers on and it was like the funnest time ever but also very stressful because I struggle with commitment. Sticking so many stickers on in such a short amount of time was quite frightening for me. I just wanted to quickly say thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. Function of Beauty is actually a customizable hair care brand. So basically you take this really quick two minute quiz saying what your hair type and what your hair goals are. Then you can even choose the color. You can write your name on it. I just have Function of Susie. And this time I chose the rose and black currant scent, which is a limited edition. They all smell so good. I got the peach one last time. It smells amazing. You guys are probably wondering what I customized it to. So I said I have wavy, dry hair and my hair goals were lengthening, strengthening and also scalp soothing because I get hella dandruff. But I'm just gonna let my hair down. Function of Beauty were also kind enough to give me a code. So that will be on the screen here. I really recommend them. You guys know that I wouldn't promote anything that I didn't actually like. Now I'm going to jump in the shower and I'm going to not only wash my hair, but I'm also going to use their hair mask. I'm already halfway through this one and I try to use it so sparingly. <coughs> the flexibility. Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell, but my my legs are well overdue for a shape. Yeah, you, de you definitely can tell. I will see you guys after my shower. As you can probably tell, I am now showered. I put a bit of leave-in treatment in my hair and now I've just got it up towel drying. It's time to do a face mask 
So I just got this anti-drama face mask. Um, so I'm just gonna put this on. I need to IPL laser hair removal. I haven't used my hair removal thing in literally like a month. I didn't realize that if you used it incorrectly, you can actually burn yourself. So I used it when my skin was still a bit wet and I burnt the heck out of my hoo-ha. But I'm properly dry right now, so hopefully we won't have any issues with that. I used this mask once before. Hopefully my skin will be looking like a dream after this. It also tells you to put this down your neck, but like, can I be bothered? Definitely not. <laughs> this is so fun, like I feel like we're just having a sleepover, you just broke up with your boyfriend and we're just having a little pamper sesh to make you feel better. This also is not sponsored, but I got this little um, lip scrub from them as well. And my lips are hella chapped, so. I also just had a big bowl of pasta. Self care, you know? These things are important and I'm just gonna eat it off. Oh my God, I just ate a bit of the mask. It wasn't that bad, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, my legs are completely shaven. My mum just told me how beautiful this color of this dressing gown was, and now I feel like a queen. Let's go, let's do this. Ooh, actually that was fine. Bam, bam, come on, this is fun. So just be careful when you're using this. Also, make sure not to look in the light like I've been doing this entire time. I think this is going to take a little second. Now I've got to get down to my... I'm not going to film the next bit that I'm laser hair removaling, so I will see you guys after I do that. Okay, so my IPL is now done. Um, I didn't burn myself this time, but I'm just going to quickly wash this mask off. I really like that mask. Like, it's not too stripping, I reckon. Okay, gorgeous. Okay, I just watched this video on TikTok of how to curl your hair with a dressing gown cord. So I'm gonna try that because my hair's a bit damp, but I'm thinking I can just like blow dry it the rest of the way. But I'm just gonna put it in a middle part. Gown cord. You're supposed to put it like here and then you're supposed to just tie off the side of your hair and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just grab a little section of hair up the top and you're just gonna twist like this I've got braid mentality that I'm supposed to be grabbing every time but that is not the case and then what you're supposed to do is just tie that bad boy off it doesn't look like it did in the video. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? We're gonna roll with it. Why does that one look so much better? Okay, so I'm gonna twist it and then I'm going to tie it at the top of my head. Gorgeous. And now it's out of my face as well. So what have we done so far? We've exfoliated, shaved legs, we've used a hair mask, IPL laser hair removal, face mask. I just love the satisfaction of ticking stuff off on a to-do list. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna moisturize. I like, sometimes I just use straight coconut oil for moisturizer. This one's like a shea butter. We are just having the best time on this sleepover right now. And it's gonna get even funner because we're gonna do some makeup. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, at least my heels are gonna be moisturized. You know what, the whole foot can get some moisturizer. This has got a lot of foot in it. What are we, Nickelodeon? <sighs> oh my God, does anybody get angry at their moisturizer when it doesn't rub in straight away? Get in there. Gorgeous. Bam. I've brought you up close and personal because I just realized that my eyebrows are in dire need of some cleaning up. So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna pluck them. I definitely have a stash right now, but I've grown to accept her as part of my life. 
and I wouldn't feel complete without her. I got these new tweezers from Manicare that have like pointy end on them. These things are dangerous. Ow! I definitely should have done this right after my shower. A few of you were wondering if I'm gonna keep shaving my face after I did last time. Um, the answer is no, but my hair grew back quite a bit thicker. I also broke out really, really bad right afterwards, so I will not be doing that again. Close up of her now, a little bit red, obviously not perfect, but you know what? It is good enough. So I'm just gonna do the other side. Here's before and after. Yeah, I really did not put a premium amount of effort into that. I'm gonna put on makeup in a second, but I wanna do a little bit of skincare. I got the CeraVe moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin. This was $18 and it's literally full to the brim. Like this thing's heavy. I could knock someone out with this. I quite like it so far. I definitely think that my skin has been improving a bunch lately. This is like a very heavy moisturizer. So I definitely would only recommend it if you have very dry skin like myself. I got some this super cute box by Good Molecules and I was like, what could it possibly be? And it was a rosehip oil. So pure cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I really liked my last products that I got from Good Molecules. So I was very happy to see that they sent me this little cute package. I'm just gonna not touch it to my face because I don't have another hand right now. Oh, it feels nice though. I think I literally have done like everything wait one more thing my crusty ass toenails <laughs> i should paint my toenails but literally just going to trim them let's add these ones to the jar i'm not even gonna show you the before of my toes you guys thought that this was a fun sleepover and then i bring out the nail clippers did you see that fly okay i need to stop doing this on camera my toenails are cut now. Something I like to do for a pamper is I'll kind of do like a DIY foot mask, which is basically where I take a crap ton of moisturizer and put it on my feet and then just put socks on and leave it overnight. And I wake up with really soft feet. I'm gonna do that. Putting the moisturizer on right now. I feel like there's so many people who get grossed out by feet, so I'm sorry to any of those people. Put on much more moisturizer than you need, much more than what's comfortable, and then just grab some bed socks and put them straight on. Now putting on gorgeous Ugg boots. I will wear these to the grocery shops and I feel beautiful in them. I think it's time to have a look at our list and see what's left. Done. Our pedicure, kind of. We've done hair removal on our face. Tweeze the brows. We've done our hairdo because all I'm gonna do with this is blow dry it. So all that's left is outfit and makeup. I actually have some new makeup goodies to try out, which I'm so excited for. Let me just grab those and I will be right back. Now onto the exciting part, which is going to be the makeup. Later. I hate it. Sorry, I need to start over. Okay, let's try that again. Um, this time, I'm gonna go in with the Focalore brow pencil first. I also made sure to put on a bit less moisturizer this time because I feel like I had accidentally caked up my face a little bit. Yeah, I like that color a lot. Um, I actually went over the top of my brows with some scissors because my hairs were so long and I feel like they look so much better now. I'm just gonna brush them into place. My eyebrows look so natural. Now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer again. I like that much. This is so nice, this stuff. I'm just gonna go in real quick with this Napoleon Purtis foundation. Please, in the comments, recommend your favorite foundations for dry skin. I love the Hourglass Vanish Stick. Anything along those lines would be awesome. I'm gonna use the InStylish Heart of the Ocean sponge. I'm happy to just do a very light foundation. Yeah, well, that matches me perfectly. I'm gonna try this concealer. I'm gonna make sure I blend it in. Ooh, yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna try the Meat Matte New Palette. I remember when the balm was like 
all the rage and we didn't have it in Australia for so long, but Target is actually closing down where I live. So literally got the meat mat nude palette for $15, but it's always good to like have a basic palette. I literally do not own one. So I was like, I might as well try it out. So I think I'm just gonna go in with Matte Sing. Very light sculpting of the eye. Oh, this is actually a really nice color. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I really like want to get back into makeup, guys. I'm actually getting rid of a bunch of makeup. Let me know if you'd like to see me culling my makeup in a video because I would say I have more than the average person. I think I'm just going to grab Matte Malloy, put that on my lid. I think I'll finish off my face before I finish off my eyes. So I'm just going to bronze and do all that shebang. I just did a little bit of bronzer. Um, and blush and I'm just gonna try the Cindy Luminizer now, which I got for a bargain. Yeah, that's really cute. I remember the Mary Luminizer was one of the first like highlighter highlighters. That is so pretty. I'm just gonna do some winged liner. I saw this technique on TikTok where you place your lashes on an angle so it like brings up your eyes and like kind of like a cat eye effect. Wow, it really works like Anyway, I just kind of went off camera for a while because I cannot talk and do my makeup at the same time. Now I'm just going to use the Hot Mocha Lip Pencil from Napoleon Curtis. Just lightly outline my lips. This lipstick by Makeup Revolution and it's just called Prime. Obsessed. I love that color. I'm really happy with how this makeup has turned out. So I guess it's time to take out our hair and choose an outfit. So this is the outfit. I feel so cute in this. I wish that it wasn't 12 o'clock right now and I was actually going somewhere. I just wanna quickly take my hair out before I do anything. Why couldn't God bless me with beautiful curly hair. I feel like it looks so cute and I can't even imagine how good it would have looked if I left it all night. Okay, now let's talk about the fit. So jeans are from Glassons, belt misguided. This top is definitely from Princess Polly. Boots are pretty little thing. These earrings are actually from a couple of subscribers and they have a little shop called Polly Slashes where they make homemade earrings. So I'll link them down below, but they sent this super cute note along with it. They're from Texas. Thank you so much, girls. Mwah. Okay, so ticking off the list. Oh my God, so many things. We did a face mask, we did a heatless hairstyle, outfit and makeup. What a night. I feel amazing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have nowhere to wear this outfit, but I'm just going to enjoy it and take photos and feel good about myself. And I hope that if you guys are watching this, you can get inspired to just take a little time for yourself, whether you do an inner or outer glow up. I think it's important to not be so hard on yourself and just have a little you time, okay? I'm gonna go take some photos now. So I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, because I'll be posting some pics of me in this outfit. Also like this video if you enjoyed it, it means a lot and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to be a part of our little psycho family we have here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.